Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. Today in the studio, it's myself, Steve Martin, and Mark Spencer. Today we're going to talk about motion. <laughs> well, I was stating the obvious, right? <laughs> no, maybe. <laughs> I know one day I should just talk about spaghetti. Exactly. Just, just or, 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 or accounting. Well, oh, okay, let's not go there. <laughs> so here's what I want to do. I, right. instead, I'm always showing my own stuff, uh-huh. but uh, the fact is, motion's really come a long way in the past five years or so. Right. And there's a lot of other people out doing some really interesting stuff with motion. So I thought. You're not the only guy? No, there's, motion? there's, you know, I like to be the motion guy, but there's actually a lot of other folks out there. Okay. So I'd like, you know, to take a few episodes. Episodes and spotlight on a few other people that that are doing some really cool stuff. So the first one is, uh, is this guy Patrick Sheffield, who's down in LA, who I met uh, on the forums and have met in person. Is a great guy. He's written this book called How to Cheat in Motion, and um, he has another book called How to Cheat on Tests. <laughs> <laughs> How to cheat on anything. <laughs> right. But this is a really interesting book because Patrick's mind works differently than anybody I've ever met, and he figures out how to do very unusual things with motion. So I highly recommend checking out that book. Um, well, I'm really excited to see uh, what uh, you have to show us. Well, he, he figured out this thing that I think is so, there's like unusual stuff and there's like super useful stuff. And I want to show you something that I think anybody who uses motion, especially templates in Final Cut, will love this. Okay, so let me just jump right in. It. So here I'm in Final Cut and mm-hmm. I've got a picture of a... Uh, of that horse looks familiar. Yeah. That's that, my that, horse. That's your horse. It's Jake. That's your horse. It's actually, it's a shot with that uh, 7D camera, right? So it's 7D, not just yeah. a still image, but there's a nice little shot of that horse. And I want to give it a little lower third title. Mm-hmm. Right? So I'm going to go to Sequence and choose Add Master Template, which will bring up our template browser. The corkboard. Oh. Well, that's a, that's a little right, corkboard right, right. template that we have, but there's all kind of templates in here. And what I'm going to do is bring in this one called Can't Adjust. This is like what a normal template would look like. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to bring that in and I'll superimpose it onto our horse, our little horse here. And so there's the template. And the thing about templates is they're great, uh, but when you have text, you can only adjust the text, right? right? The tracking and the size. Tracking and size, right. But here, like I've got a little background graphic and it animates on. Let's just go through it a little bit here. It just kind of animates on. it's going to take too long to update, but it fades in. And the problem is that background graphic is fixed in its size. Right. So if you right. change the line of text, the graphic's not going to match the right. size of the text. Right. So you'd have to do open an editor and go to motion and tweak it. Sure. But there's a way to deal with that, which is just really cool. And it's, it's just a brilliant, brilliant solution. So what Patrick did, here I am in motion. Right. And here I'll just, I'll just play this so you can see how it animates. So it just fades up and the name comes on. Right. But what you can do is... Um, Use the link behavior. New okay. to Motion 4. Right, new to Motion 4. This link behavior. Can't do this in Motion 3. No. Only no, Motion no. 4. Only Motion 4. Okay. But here's the deal if I want that background graphic to grow, I can link its scale, its X scale, to a, a basically a dummy text. Okay, ah. so I've got another line of text in here. I'll turn it on. It's, there's your dummy. Yes. Yeah, Why didn't you have it say lorem ipsum gypsum? Well, because we're going to see that text in Final Cut. Oh, okay. okay? So, so right. when we see the text in Final Cut, got I want it. it to have some direction. So it's right. use the text size slider to adjust the background. Okay. So that's a little dummy text. I'm going to turn it off, but I'm going to use it to drive the scale of this. So here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to select the rectangle. Right. And in the Properties tab of the inspector for its scale, if I just drag on the X scale parameter, see how that makes it longer? Absolutely, yeah. You know, and I, uh-huh. I put the anchor point at the left-hand side. That's why it's scaling in that way. It just okay. scales to the right. Mm-hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'll make it a little smaller to begin with. I'm going to right-click right on the X, which brings up our parameter, parameter behaviors. behaviors. yes. Exactly, which are beautiful. If you've never played with parameter behaviors, they're fantastic. So we're going to use the one called link right here. So I'll choose link. And it says, well, what do you want me to link the scale of this to? The text. The text, yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to drag that dummy text in there into the source. And then there's a little compatible parameters pop-up menu. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go down to styles. And under style, I'm going to choose the size of the text, OK? OK. So I'll choose that. And now, if I go to that dummy text, and I'll bring up the heads-up display, F7, we'll bring that up. If I drag the little size slider now, notice that as I increase, in fact, let's turn on the text just so you can see that the text is increasing in size. As the text grows, so, Interesting. Does, so does the X scale of that little background graphic, which is just wow, a that, shape. Wow, that really is a cheat. <laughs> it is. It is. It's an amazing little cheat. So what I want to do is I'll turn off the text 
and I go into the file menu and choose to save this as a template. Okay. Okay. Now I've already done that, just so we don't have Absolutely, to like yeah. do 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 do, do wait for it. Right. Although it's pretty quick. But let's go back to Final Cut and make oh, sure look, our sequence. It's a cake. There he is. Sequence. Add master template. Okay. And this time we will select the adjustable one. Okay. And I'll do a super. The one that's been linked to the text that's yeah, turned off. Yeah, exactly. So now here's our little um, line. Yeah. But let's say we have a little much longer. I'm going to put in uh, here is a whole lot of text. All right. All right. So let's let it fade in. Go forward. So there, the text is too long for yes, our background. Absolutely. But check it out. This we've got an extra text item here, our text layer, our dummy Which layer. Which we can't see. We can't see, but the tech the description of the text says tells you what to do. Yeah. Now you don't want to type anything in no, it. No, no, no. That's just a little bit of direction. But now if we use that text size slider, that background will grow. Oh. Okay. And so That's we can accommodate it. So if great. you're making templates for editors who aren't motion people, they don't want to go into motion to do this stuff, you can hook this up to anything. I mean, it could be the position of another graphic. I can tell rotation. you there's some, there, there's a, the, the graphics guy at Disney right now. Um, if he's watching this, he's just, he just fell out of his chair. Awesome. Cause, right, because the uh, graphics people don't like editors messing with their design right. at all. Right. And in this case, they can change the size of the graph without. Without it launching motion right. and then like, oh, oh now that I'm in motion, maybe I can add all this other stuff. It's like, no, you can go in here. And, and have exact control over the position, rotation, or scale of, of graphics that are in your project. Yeah. So I think, uh, you know, congratulations, Patrick. Great tip. And I just great wanted to tip. get out there. Yeah, absolutely. And, and his whole book is uh, How to Cheat in Motion and has a lot of other really interesting uh, things that, that I would have never thought of, of how now to do you, motion. If you need to learn motion, then... Uh He's got a, I hear he has a yeah. pretty good tutorial. So rippletraining.com, if you really want to get deep into motion, uh, will we'll help you as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Mark, for coming out and show us this amazing trick. And uh, give a shout out to uh, Patrick. Great job. And uh, thanks for watching another edition of Mac Break Studio. Again, I'm Steve Martin, and I'm here with Mark Spencer.